Hey guys, John here from Titan, and today I want to do an instruction video on how to inject vitamin D, okay? Because vitamin D is a little bit different than our other vitamin injectables, as those are water-based. Vitamin D is oil-based, so it's going to be a little bit of a bigger needle gauge and a little bit of a bigger needle all the way around. So it's going to be oil, it's going to be a little bit thicker in viscosity, so at that point you are going to need a bigger needle gauge, like I said. So what I'm going to do is, and vitamin D is refrigerated, so at that point it needs to be refrigerated. You're going to pop this off. Right. The first thing we're going to do is, we're going to take this little wipe here, and we're going to make sure we spread it across here one time. Making sure we know that is sterile and clean. All right. Get that to the side. We're going to get our needle ready. Now, with vitamin D, I said the viscosity is a little bit thicker. So at that point, what I'm going to do is, is I've got another needle to put on here as a tip. Now, with this tip, it's going to be able to let me, A, get the medicine out of here a lot easier. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to decap this. We're going to pull this down to how much we're going to inject. So we know we're going to inject 1 ml, and 1 ml is going to equal to 50,000 I use in this. So per injection, I'll get 50,000 IUs of vitamin D. All right, I push the air in there to pressurize the bottle. I pull down nice and smooth, and you can see that oil filling up. Now with the bigger gauge needle, this is an 18 gauge needle, it's gonna draw very easy. It's not gonna be hard to draw. So we're just gonna switch the tip here. Nice and tight, that's good. All right, so we've got your vitamin D ready to go. Now, where are we gonna do the injection? Well, vitamin D is like any other injection. You can do it intermuscular. So any muscle, really. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing any other muscles. Uh, for me, really, I'm gonna hit right here in the shoulder, okay? I'm gonna hit the center of the shoulder. I'm gonna make sure that I go in the center. The reason is because all the medication can absorb evenly, okay? can disperse evenly through the muscle and get absorbed. So what I'm gonna do first is, I'm gonna make sure cleanliness is next to godliness, right? We're gonna cleanse the site. So we're gonna go back twice, three times. We're done, we clean the site. So the site's cleansed. Now, don't inject right away after you clean the site. Give it at least 30 to 60 seconds, right? And for that, it's letting the alcohol dry. Because if you inject this needle and the alcohol is still there, you can push the alcohol inside and it might create a burning sensation. It's not gonna hurt you, it's not gonna kill you, it just might sting a little bit, okay? So, I'd give it an ample time, let's do this injection. Now, this is a little scary for some people. It's not like the little insulin needle. There's a 23 gauge needle on here. You can use some smaller, like a 25 gauge sometimes. Uh, 23 gauge is gonna let you inject it smoother because the smaller that tip is, the harder that viscosity is to push through there. So let's go center right here, right, of the shoulder. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna push in nice and smooth all the way down and see how slow it's going in? That's because of viscosity of the oil, okay? Now I can push in a little bit faster, but it's nice and smooth and even. So it's all in, right? That was real easy, real smooth. Okay, we're done. We're gonna dispose of this needle the proper way. Okay, and we can get a little bandage if you want, or a sterile cotton swab. And make sure you just go over the area, make sure it's all good. Okay, that's it. So vitamin D is complete. Very simple, very easy. One injection the whole week. Okay, so if you guys want any more information about vitamin D or any of our other therapies, give us a call or text to 727-389-3220. Also check out TitanMedicalCenter.com.